GeoShape provides the ability for organizations to create, share, and visualize information in a geographic context. The goal is to deliver dynamic, collaborative maps to support humanitarian assistance and disaster response. In disaster response, different organizations respond, and these different distributed groups all have unique information as perspectives from their activities on the ground and the unique specialties. This is information that all the other response organizations need to know and have readily available to them. This is the GeoShape web application. A disaster response organization receives information from multiple means. Some of the primary methods are voice, phone, and radio. When they do receive information about an event, they often enter that into a form or a log, and this is often a manual process. Then they work to assess the situation and develop additional information about the current state of events. We are given such forms by the Dominican Republic Defensa Seville and the Honduran Disaster Response Agency, Capeco, and we turn these into map layers. GeoShape allows for this information to be entered directly to a map and rapidly shared out to those who need information in order to plan how they will respond. Where is the greatest need? How will they transport supplies there? Who can respond the quickest? And where are the critical relevant assets? And once this is saved, this is going to be made available to all of the different partners that are sharing this information with each other. We also provide a mobile application called Arbiter. This was designed for mobile data collection. It runs on Android smartphones and tablets and allows responders to cache the maps and layers they need to go into the field and complete the assessments of the damage. It allows them to add information along with photographs that give that on-the-ground perspective, the ground truth of the current state of the situation. Once they have connectivity through 3G or Wi-Fi, they can synchronize their updates to the server, and that information is available through the web application and any other mobile apps that are connected through GeoShape. In these types of operations, provenance of data is important. That is to say, who is providing information? Where are the changes? When and where were those changes made? GeoShape keeps the history of all these changes in the map layers, and we can set permissions for who can edit the data by setting up groups as well, so that we're able to actually control access and ensure that it's still available to the people that need to be able to see it. The use of open standards allows us to share the map layers from GeoShape with other applications as well. During the operational demonstrations, we made the layers available in the Pacific Disaster Center's Disaster Aware software for additional situational awareness to planners. GeoShape is operational with both the Honduran and Dominican Republic response agencies now. It is being integrated into PDC to become available through their disaster aware software. GeoShape is open source software and more information can be found at geoshape.org.